here from pickandlessons.com. In today's mandolin lesson I thought we'd take a look at Hand Me Down My Walking Cane. Now this song I've really been digging this one lately and I really like the Norman Blake version that he recorded so this mandolin break is a little bit of an ode to that recording. Let's have a bit of a play through slowly just of the first few phrases um, then we'll finish off the video if you head to pickandlessons.com. Uh, you'll find the tab and, and the full video lesson there on the website. Okay, so let's have a play through the first half of this break. Uh, we'll start off with just a slow play through. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, let's just try that once more. Three, four, one. Okay, so let's just break this down a little bit. So first of all, you may have noticed there's double stops played all the way through this. So the first double stop, we have that high A there on the first string, on the fifth fret, use your first finger. We have our second finger on the E here on the seventh fret of the second string. Uh, we play that twice, followed by a hammer-on, and that hammer on's gonna be with the third finger. So we have this. And then we play that high A. Alrighty, now we're going to shift into another double stop here. And this one we have our third finger on the ninth fret of string one. So there's your C sharp and our first finger on the E on the second string again. So we're going to slide into that just from the fret below. And then we take that double stop down a tone, so we're at the 7th fret on top and the 5th fret on the 2nd string. And then coming down resolving there to the A on the 5th fifth, um, fifth fret of the 1st string and your 1st finger on the 4th fret of the 2nd string. So that little passage again. So let's go from the pickup and we'll play all that together. So first double stop into the hammer on. Three, four, one. Okay, at this point, we've got our first and second fingers there. We're gonna to jump to our little finger on the ninth fret of string two and run down the pentatonic scale, pentatonic scale. And then we resolve down to that lower A on the third string with our third finger. So. And then just to finish that, grab the three finger A there. So third, first and second fingers. All right, let's go from the beginning up to that point. Three, four, one. Once more, three, four, one.
Okay, so now we're about to shift into the E chord. So we're gonna slide up to an E double stop and we're gonna take our third finger from the A, move it across one fret. So now we're at fret eight and our second finger will come in on fret six of the second string. And we're gonna slide that up into the E. Okay, and then we hold that chord and we just kind of give it a bit of a play. And then coming out of that, we're gonna go back to the pentatonic scale in A. So that was second finger on the seventh fret, up stroke to the third finger on the ninth fret, down stroke on the first string, fifth fret, first finger. Okay, let's go from the beginning up to that point. Three, four, one. Okay, so let's pick up to finish this half. We're gonna slide back into this double stop we had at the beginning, which was the um, ninth fret with your third finger on the first string and your first finger on the seventh fret on the second string. So we're gonna slide into that and then we're gonna run down two frets with the same shape and resolve down to the first string on the fifth fret and the fourth fret on the second string. So that will give us this. Okay, so let's have a run through from the beginning up until that point. We're about halfway through the break. Three, four, one. Okay, let's try that once more. Three, four, one. I just wanted to mention that this is completely played uh, in closed position notes. So the break is movable. It's, it's been played in A in this video, but uh, we can actually move it to any sort of position in any key. So if you wanted to play it out of G, just move it down a tone, so two frets lower, and then basically play the same double stops and the same um, uh, relationship to each other. And then you've got your break in the key of G. So for example, in A, we start up here on the fifth fret with your first finger. But if I wanted to play it in G, I'd start with my first finger on the G note, and we get this. And so on, so that would then lead me in through the whole break in G. Or if I wanted to play it in B, start up on fret seven with my first finger. Uh, you could even move it into D or E or C if you, if you needed to. So if you wanted to play it out of D, you can move to the second string with your first finger and start from there. Now you're onto a little bit of trouble because you're going to run out of strings moving lower, but you can actually take up um, where it changes the four chord and move it to the higher strings. So yeah, so this break is really, it can be played in any key. There's no open strings, so you're good to go. Okie dokie, hope you've enjoyed so far for this mandolin lesson for Hand Me Down My Walking Cane. If you visit pickinglessons.com, you'll find the tab for this arrangement and the remainder of this video lesson, we'll, we'll break it down, finish off 
uh, the brake and we'll have a playthrough at a couple of different tempos using the metronome as well. See you there. Cheers.